What's up everybody, Night Cover the Fox here, and welcome back to another episode of Fan Mail Openings. We're just gonna jump right in. This may be a slightly shorter episode because I only have technically three pieces left, but one of them is a box. So we'll see how it goes. This first one is coming from Indiana. Dear Night Cove, my name is Sydney. I was a huge FNAF fan when it first came out, but after Sister Location, I was out of the fandom for a while until I discovered your channel that I missed a lot of good stuff and I'm back into the fandom. My favorite songs of yours are My Love, Your Reality, and One of Us, Old and New. I love your fan series, Vanessa Into Madness. I wish they had made it canon. I also love your mom, Goat Mom's channel. Please tell her I said hello. P.S. Happy early or late birthday. Love, Sydney. No, oh, thank you so much. I will tell my mother you said hi. Oh, we have some questions here. Number one, what is your favorite color? I like yellow and warm colors. They're my thing at the moment. Number two, what are your theories for Help Wanted 2? Oh boy, my brain hurts too bad to even begin to explain any theories that I may have. Um, so I, I won't really dive into that now because I feel like that would take up the whole, we'd be here a long time. Number three, do you like Tim Burton? If so, what are your favorite mo Tim Burton movies? I do. Um, I really like things like The Corpse Bride or Nightmare Before Christmas. Those are two classics that I love. Number four, what do you think about Matt Pat retiring? It's sad, but also understandable because he's been doing this for several years. I mean, most of us who started watching him as kids are like grown up now. So when you put that into perspective to think of like how much of his life he's been doing this for, that's a pretty big chapter. So I understand that, you know, it's it's time for him to move on and like focus on his family. I mean, he's got a kid uh, with Stephanie. There's, they've started a family and I think it's pretty easy to understand that like, you know, being involved in your family and also trying to manage like however many different theory channels he has right now could be, you know, quite tricky to balance. So I'm, I'm glad that he's, you know, taking time for himself and his family. Number five, do you like Melanie Martinez? If so, what are your favorite songs from Cry Baby to K through 12? Oh, so like all of her albums. Okay, I see. I do. I like Melanie Martinez. In fact, she was the first artist I ever got to see live because um, I had never seen, like, I'd never been to a concert before. And then for my 13th birthday, I think it was, I got surprised with tickets for her Crybaby tour. Um, so that was really cool. I like a lot of her songs. I love Mad Hatter from, I think that's from her Crybaby album. And then K through 12. Oof, that one's a good one too. I really like Drama Club. Um, I like all of them though. And then Portals, my gosh, that one is like, I can tell it's very like experimental for her. She did like some different styles than she usually does. Like there's some alternative rock in there, which is wild. But I, I didn't hate, I didn't dislike it. I, I actually really love it. I think she fits that genre very well. Like her song Evil is very like alt rock almost. Um, or even like pop rock, I would say. I don't know, it's wild, but I love it. Um, the Contortionist is really good. Back from the Dead is also really good. That, that would be a really good like opener to see her at a concert or something. I would love to go to one of her Portals tours, but probably won't happen. Oh, and then last but not least, we've got a little circus baby drawing here. Oh, did you use like, <laughs> did you use glitter glue for her hair? I love glitter glue. That's really cool, I love that. Well, thank you so much. I'm not quite sure where this one is coming from. Holland? Holland. We got more stickers. We got a Bonnie, a Foxy. We got the whole gang. You can kind of see a little bit of all of them. Look at how cute they are. I'm gonna have to find like a good spot to keep all of my stickers, all of my bracelets. Oh boy, it's another balloon boy. But I don't think that's the one that we're supposed to look at. I think we're supposed to look at this one. Ah, this is from Sarah, the official purple girl. The Netherlands, okay, so that, that makes sense. Look at Freddy, isn't he just cute? That's awesome. And then last but not least, we have a little red envelope here. Dear Night Cove, hi, my name is Sarah and I'm coming from the Netherlands. My favorite songs are Your Reality, For You, Take Me Home, I cried when I first heard it because of how beautiful it was, and One of Us, the remix. I've been your fan since 2022 and subscribed in the beginning of 2023. I always love the Glitch Trap adventures and his cosplays are amazing. Can you do a video on how to make a Glitch Trap vest? It will help me for my Glitch Trap cosplay so I can watch you in style. I think I have said that I will, 
Um, now that I'm remaking my glitch trap suit, I will be remaking a vest for him. So once I get to that stage, I'll make sure that I film it so that I can put together a tutorial. Also, I have a few questions. Number one, what is your favorite self-made music? I've been asked this a lot. Um, I always have difficulty answering. Um, I think I usually default to like my Evil Lives On album. Uh, number two, what is your favorite dinner food? I love pasta dishes. I love cooking pasta. I love eating pasta. It's my favorite thing. Uh, three, what is your favorite FNAF game? New favorite would probably be FNAF VR 2. Cause I always used to say that like FNAF VR 1 was my favorite because it was kind of like a cheater's way of being able to play almost all of the other games in one spot in a really cool visual experience. But FNAF VR 2 really outdid itself. So I think that one is probably my new favorite. What is your favorite movie? Um, or series? Pfft, oh geez, I don't know. I'm not really like a movie or series like enthusiast. So whenever I watch things, I'm kind of just indifferent. Like I'll just pick a new show on Netflix and watch it and be like, all right. I mean like the FNAF movie was really good. That was my favorite movie of last year, I think. Number five. Can I in the future work with you? Um, sometimes people send me emails asking me, I think I mentioned something about like voice acting stuff in the last episode or um, like collaborating for songs and stuff. And while I like am pretty terrible at responding um, and while I'm very like busy most of the time working on projects for, for myself, um, I would in the future like to work with more people. Everything on your YouTube channel makes my day better and it feels like I have made a digital best friend on the other side of the world. I'm so glad I have found you. Oh, thank you so much. Well, thank you for writing to me and asking me those questions. I appreciate the little stickers and the art as well. This last one is coming from Arkansas and it has a bunch of little adorable Disney stickers on it. Whoa. So before we reveal the painting, which I kind of got a sneak peek of while I was taking it out, we're gonna read the letter. Dear Night Cove, it's Ramsey again. Ah, the painter. Okay, I was, I was kind of curious because I was like, when I caught a glimpse of it just now, I was like, this looks familiar. So that, that checks out, okay. It's Ramsey again. I know I've been sending you a lot of my artwork recently. I love seeing, seeing your reactions to all of my work you received. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 22 years old and I love FNAF, Disney, Chuck E. Cheese, kids shows, mascots, and art. My favorite FNAF character is Balloon Boy. Ah, oh, well, you and I might have beef there. And I'm very excited to see the movie. I wanted to send you my recent painting. It's Fredbear after the Bite of 83 incident. I hope you like it. Anyways, I hope life is treating you well and you have an awesome day. Kind regards, Ramsey. P.S. I have some questions if you don't mind answering them. What's your favorite Disney character? Oof. There are so many to choose from. I could narrow it down to like a favorite princess and I think that'll always be like either Ariel or Rapunzel for me. What's your favorite kids show? Oh boy. I'm trying to remember like any kids shows that I watched growing up. I don't really watch like children's cartoons anymore. See, I watched weird stuff like Teletubbies and Booba and like Little Einsteins. I don't, I don't remember what other like kids shows I used to watch. I used to get a kick out of Mickey How M Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. That one used to be one of my favorites, I think, when I was a kid, which is funny because it ties into Disney, so I guess that works. What's your favorite pizza topping? I just like a good old cheese pizza most of the time, or like a margarita pizza where it has like the sun-dried tomatoes and the chunks of mozzarella. Oh, that's good. Um, or sometimes I like pepperoni if I'm feeling more into the greasy meat pizza side, um, but just pepperoni. I'm a very simple gal, you know? All right, I think those are all the questions it looks like. So now we can look at this painting together for real. This looks really cool. You guys ready to see it? Isn't that spooky? That is really cool. Oh, that's, oh, does it say it's me on the back? Was that on purpose or did that just like accidentally happen? Look at that. <laughs> I did not even realize that until I flipped it towards you guys this way. I was like, hang on a minute. That's clever. That's really good. That's crazy. That's, that's very nice. Well done. All the blood because he had his, um, his afternoon snack. That is really good. I will add it to the wall 
uh, once I finally start putting things in frames and then hanging up the canvases because I'm gonna do an art wall again. But anyways, that'll do it for this episode of Fan Mail Openings. I do hope you all enjoyed. If you did, why not leave some positivity in the comments or like the video? Thank you all for taking the time to send me such wonderful letters and really impressive, great works of art. Like, I, I really appreciate it, it means a lot. And as always, remember, stay bright, cause you're a star. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.